Dear students, we have discussed about various different organizational structures in uh, multinational companies and how the process of internationalization that affects the structure of an organization and how does the structure of the organization it evolves. We have, looked, uh, we have talked about different models and different type of uh, um, structures that are available to be adopted um, in academic literature. Uh, in this topic, we are going to talk about a particular case study of uh, an organization. Uh, it is a very well-known organization. Uh, I think everybody knows the name. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, the Toyota uh, company. And uh, we are going to talk about the Toyota way, how they keep their organizational structure intact and how do they manage their international operations as far as organizational structure is concerned. Uske liye wo kya karte? So, uh, as we discussed in the previous topic, that uh, Japanese uh, companies, they have a centralized kind of uh, approach to organizational structures. They don't want to give too much autonomy to their foreign subsidiaries yet they want their subsidiaries to be effective and uh, working according to the requirement of the context. So how do they do that? How, how do they actually uh, make it successful? They have made a Toyota way. Yani, Toyota mein kaam karne ka kya tarika hai? They have actually formalized it and they uh, inculcate it in their human resource um, very formally. Uh, so let's take a look. Over here you can see that this is a production floor of Toyota in USA. This is uh, showing that this particular person is working on some kind of charts and complicated and complex charts are a part of the Toyota way. So this picture is showing one aspect of the Toyota way that they make sure that their systems and their processes and flow that is depicted and illustrated in the form of complex and very much informative charts which are then displayed in various parts of their physical uh, facilities, in their offices, in their production floors and various places where it is required. So that is one aspect. Let's look at uh, different, uh, some, some details about uh, the Toyota company. It has got, according to 2017-18 uh, statistics, it has got 350 uh, employees working in 27 plants worldwide, out of which 18 plants are in Japan. So most of their production facilities are in Japan, but some other production facilities are also in other parts of the world. Uh, yet, although they have kept themselves so centralized and they have kept their business in a family kind of a structure, they are uh, second ranked in global sales. Uh, and in 2017, Toyota sold 10.2 million vehicles all over the world. 10.2 million vehicles all over the world. That means that uh, it is a huge organization which, with, with the, uh, global production facilities and they are tapping the entire global market um, uh, and, and also working worldwide with production facilities all over the world. Uh, Yet, they want to keep their company values intact. For that, what they have done is that they have established a, uh, the Toyota Institute at Maccabi, Japan. Uh, so this works as a kind of corporate university uh, in which corporate values, strategies, they are devised and planned out and then they are translated and communicated to people who are responsible for driving action throughout the world. 
सो करते क्या हैं कि वो अपने मैनेजर्स को यहाँ टोयोटा इंस्टीट्यूट में विच इज़ देयर कॉरपोरेट यूनिवर्सिटी वहाँ उनको लेकर आते हैं वहाँ उनको ट्रेन करते हैं उनके उनको अपने कल्चर के एस्पेक्ट्स से इंट्रोड्यूस करवाते हैं और फिर दे दे मेक श्योर कि वो उन कल्चरल एस्पेक्ट्स को उनके टोयोटा वे को ले जा के तो अपने फॉरेन ऑपरेशंस में इनकलकेट करवाएं जो इनका टोयोटा इंस्टीट्यूट का जनरल मैनेजर है कोकी कोनीशी उसकी ये स्टेटमेंट है कि वी मस्ट प्रिवेंट द टोयोटा वे फ्रॉम गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर डाइल्यूटेड एज टोयोटा ग्रोज ओवरसीज सो दे हैव मेड अ पार्ट ऑफ देयर कल्चर एंड अ पार्ट ऑफ देयर स्ट्रैटेजी दैट देर दे विल नॉट लेट द टोयोटा वे बी इंडिजनाइज टू मच और बी डायल्यूटेड टू मच दे विल कीप द जैपनीज वैल्यूज एंड जैपनीज कल्चर inculcated in their company and in the way work is done and formalized in their organization even if they are working in a totally different culture let's say america so the challenge is that toyota is growing more quickly than the company's ability to transplant its culture to the foreign markets so for that they have established this toyota institute in which uh, what they do is that they carry out different uh, trainings uh, what we will discuss one example of this training that when global managers are hired uh, an initial training of uh, around a week is given to these global managers uh, this is a week long program a very intensive program in which the activities which are carried out in those uh one one week those are intense and they depict the values and strategy of uh, the toyota culture uh, it is usually a 12 to 14 hours day so uh, the people who are involved in this training what they are actually immersed in this training process it's not that you you have just uh, uh, you know walked in you have listened to a lecture and you have walked out of it no you are made a part of that culture a part of that training program you made to live that so that you know you are transformed in that process of learning when you are actually living 20 uh, 12 to 14 hours a day in that intensive training program and this is focused on inculcating the toyota way how do they inculcate uh, their uh, culture first of all uh, opening lectures are given by presidents past presidents and top level executives uh, they talk about their experiences they talk about how they do their work they talk about their achievements their uh what they have been able to do their uh, uh, the important tasks that they've been able to perform and therefore by listening to people in a particular way you learn how you are going to do your own job uh then one of the um, uh, values of toyota is genchi genbutsu and that is that that stresses that production problems can only be analyzed from the production floor and uh, not by sitting behind the desk so it means that uh, they try to inculcate this uh, practice this value ke aap ne apne table pe nahi baithe rehna even if agar aap manager bhi hain you must be there on the production floor you must be involved in the production process you must be aware of what is going on at the production floor so you must be involved in the production process and therefore uh, this practice of um, genshi genbutsu is inculcated in the uh, global managers then the practice of kaizen which is which means continuous improvement that is inculcated interpersonal values which includes complex problem solving and how they do it complex problem solving ko wo uh, they 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 
uh, divide complex problems into smaller set of um, you know solvable problems and uh, do exercises about that. Then interpersonal values of mutual respect at the workplace. You know, in uh, Japanese culture, mein mutual respect is very important. Hai. आप दूसरे बंदे की डिसरिस्पेक्ट नहीं कर सकते आप उसको ऊंची आवाज में उससे बात नहीं कर सकते आप उसको आ, किसी बुरे नाम से नहीं बुला सकते आ, तो आपने देखा होगा कि जापानीज जो हैं दे आर ऑलवेज बाउइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अदर पीपल इट्स नॉट दैट दे आर ग्रोवलिंग इट्स जस्ट दैट दे आर शोइंग रिस्पेक्ट सो म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दोटा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन कंसेंस इज बिल्डिंग दे वर्क विद creating consensus and then finally understanding of toyota's richly informative yet complex production charts factory screens and color coded graphics these are what we had just seen in the picture in which that person was working on that um, uh, some some chart uh, of on on the production floor so uh, this is how uh, the, the toyota organization inculcates the values which are important for toyota they call it the toyota way they have established a toyota institute to make people learn those values and that is how they are able to translate those values the toyota way to the entire uh, global um, network of their uh, organization